We're back with another move with me. This is week number nine, and I'm gonna go back to something I did um, a couple of weeks ago and explain it a little bit further and break it into more detail. So this is um, proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation. That's a lot of words. Um, in very basic terms, it just means proprioception, how your body feels um, and how it perceives where you are in space. Um, neuromuscular facility, neuro, nervous system, muscular system, they interact with each other to help you understand where you are, and facilitation. So we're trying to facilitate the communication and the accurate communication between those two systems so that we uh, function properly. There's a lot that can happen, particularly with injury, where those systems aren't, um, aren't necessarily uh, communicating with each other, with, with each other well. So. Um, we're going to do the patterns for the upper body, and we're going to start just with fists in front of us. And it starts with the fingers, so it starts very distally or away from the center of your body. We're going to open the thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, pinky, and then reach your thumbs back. And then bring in the pinky finger, ring finger, middle finger, index finger, thumb, and internally rotate your arms. Opening fingers, externally rotate from the shoulders and reach back. Pinky, internally rotate. And then bring the backs of the wrists towards each other. We're gonna keep enlarging this. So we're reaching the thumbs back and up now, maybe opening the chest even a little bit. Starting with the pinky to the thumbs. Reaching down. Opening, same pattern, we're gonna look up pinky fingers, and then we're gonna cross the arms. Looking down, reaching up, opening to the sky. Pinky finger, cross the opposite direction. We're gonna get a little bit faster so it becomes almost like a swinging motion and cross opposite ways each time. So you're opening and closing the upper body and looking up and down with your eyes. Two more times, opening and closing. And then we're gonna just take just the right arm, opening the right arm, and you can add a spiral, and then closing. It's as if you're putting your hand in your opposite pocket, if you had pockets on your pants. Opening and closing, and we're gonna to start to swing it a little bit. And we're following with our eyes, reaching and looking past where we're, our hand is out into space. And then we'll do the left side. Yeah, reach the thumb back, roll from the pinky coming in, thumb back, roll from the pinky coming in, thumb opens, following with the eyes, maybe incorporating the breath, inhale and exhale. All right. So now we're gonna do the opposite pattern and we're gonna start with um, the hands open and you're going to bring your thumbs in and then successively each finger is gonna wrap over the thumbs as you externally rotate. And then you're gonna internally rotate and open starting with the pinky fingers to each successive finger until you have the thumb and you push down. So we start with the thumb, it's like you're encasing your thumb with your fingers and lift up and externally rotate and then starting with the pinkies open and push down. Thumbs coming up, we'll add the chest and lift up. Maybe your forearms come together and then the chest going down. Thumbs to pinkies, pinkies to thumbs. We'll cross the arms on the way up and then exhale down, cross the other way and pinkies down, using the focus, and we're gonna start swinging a little bit more. Yeah, thumbs up, pinkies down, crossing opposite ways each time. Focusing up and down. And then we're gonna take one arm at a time. So let's take the right arm, thumbs, it's almost like an uppercut here, and then pushing down and away. And again, using the eyes, following the focus, getting a little bit of rotational action here. And you can play with speed, varying the speed. And we'll take the other side, so left side. Encase your thumb with your fingers and lift up, and then push back and down. Up and back and down. 
up. And I'm noticing all the action in my rib cage as well. Great. So that was proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation pattern number two. Um, and these are great um, if you're having shoulder issues. We're probably at our computers a lot. Um, so yeah, just to kind of open, open up and reach through the hands and fingers. Have a great week. I look forward to seeing you next week. Sending love and light to you.